Hey guys, welcome. Um, today is the beginning of the 90 day roadmap to success program. And we're going to do a guided 90 days. So this is the same 90 day program that we rolled out, um, last summer and we've tweaked it and made it better along the way. Um, this is available to all of our new clients and all of our existing clients in the Bedrock Nation private client group uh, anytime. What's different is that this time I wanted to walk you through 13 weeks, have us all do it together so that um, you had some accountability, some extra accountability. And as a group, I think everybody learns from each other and everybody is more likely to finish what they've started when they have other people in it with them. And so rather than setting you off on your own, we decided that this time we were going to do this all together. So that's the big difference. So first things first, if you are on your computer and you are in the 90 day roadmap to success group, um, you're going to go to that group and you're going to go to the files section. In the file section, there are a number of downloads and I'm going to talk about those now and what I want you to do with them. So, uh, if you are in the group, uh, on Facebook and you click on the file section, you will find <clears throat> if my internet will be cooperative. Um, okay. So there are, First things first, um, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 downloads. So there's 12 documents to download. Um, not all of them you're going to print out. I'm going to talk about what each one is. So first things first, I want you to either, you can do this this way and print the documents out and bind them like this and have them just loose, but have your little checklist handy. I'm going to talk about what order I want them in. Um, what I did because I'm weird, um, is I went ahead and I made myself a little binder, 90 day roadmap. Um, and then in the very front section, what I want you to do is print out the five main documents for the 90 day roadmap. First is the 90 day roadmap to success outline. Okay. That's going to be your first two pages. Then the second pages are going to be your 90 day roadmap way of eating. Actually, that's one page. Next is the 90 day roadmap to success exercise and movement selection guide. That's your page four page, uh, five, six and seven is the 90 day roadmap to success self care checklist. And then you're going to have the 90 day roadmap to success personal development challenge are going to be your last three pages. Right, let's an extra page in here. Nope. That's it. Okay. Then I made a second section and I printed out the measurement guide. Okay. So this is the measurement guide. That's document six. Print four copies and make that be your next section. The next one is your checklist, which you're actually going to check off every day. So there's a column for each day. Each page is a week. So print out 13 of these because we're doing this for 13 weeks together. So it's going to be a little bit, a couple days extra from 90, but I just wanted it to be even by the week. Um, if you had a DNA report, um, then I want you to print your DNA report out and put that in here next. So this is the molecular labs DNA report that we do. You can print it in color. I just happen to have already had a copy of mine printed in black and white. So you put that next. Now, if you have uh, recently had your DNA test done and you've had me review it, then you got a PDF that looked like this, that said bedrock nutrition DNA key. And it had your information on the next page. And then it went through your results and told you how to use them. If you don't have that printed out from me, there is a blank one located in the file section. It says bedrock nutrition DNA 
report client guide. That's what it's called. I know it's a lot of words. I, I put way too long of labels on things. Um, you're going to download a blank one and we're going to talk about how to fill that out and how to use it in a future video. Okay. But for right now, I just want you to print it out and make that be your next section. If you have the DNA, if you don't have the DNA, then obviously you can skip those two. If you'd like to do the DNA, order the DNA. Now it takes two weeks to get the results back. We'll still be in the middle of the 90 day uh, roadmap and you can still incorporate those things. It's never too late to do them. And I do highly recommend it's just another way for you to understand what your body needs as opposed to what you think it needs or what everybody else's body needs. Um, and even within a family, like I have my daughters here, I'm ready to go over hers with her because well, we have some things in common. We have some things that are very different that she needs to do differently than how I do. Okay. And then the next section, you're going to see there is a file that says NT module 14 food and symptom journal. That's what this is. This is so that you can log what you eat, what you drink, how you sleep and how you feel every day. So rather than print out 90 days of those, uh, you can put just note paper in here and write it down. Um, I printed out seven of these just so that I could do this week. Um, but if you use this format and you do it on regular paper, you can do that too. Um, so that's my next section. So that's everything you need to get ready. So what I really want you to focus on today is getting organized so that you have a solid foundation from which to start. You know exactly what you're doing. You feel comfortable and confident and we're ready to move on. So I want to talk about those first five documents because this week I'm going to dive into way of eating. I'm going to dive into self care. I'm going to dive into personal development. I'm going to dive into movement separately. All I want you to do today is look these things over and start reading them and start deciding what things you love. So for example, I'm going to put my glasses on because I can't see. First, because they're probably filthy. I have such a bad habit of my glasses being dirty and I don't even know this. Oh, I can see. Okay. Um, so on the very first one, the roadmap to success, outline. I want to talk a little bit about what the program actually is. Um, first of all, you are going to choose one way of eating for the entire 90 days and you're not going to cheat. You're not. You can do anything for 90 days. 90 days is a drop in the bucket of life. It is not a long time. Do not feel like you're punishing yourself or that you can't stick with it because that's just bullshit. Right away, that's an excuse and you're going to get rid of it immediately. You're going to pick one of the three ways of eating and you're going to stick to that. It doesn't have to be the perfect way. It doesn't have to be the only way, but you're going to pick one. And for the next 13 weeks, you're going to do exactly that. Okay. Um, if you need help choosing one, that's what we're here for. And I, like I said, tomorrow's video is actually going to be about how do you choose which one? So, um, number two, you are going to go through, um, so I'll get to these individually, but you're going to go through and choose a type of movement that sounds like fun to you. It doesn't have to be exercise. It doesn't have to be going to a gym. It doesn't have to be working out per se, but for 15 minutes a day, you're going to move your ass. It can be walking. It can be gardening. It can be yoga. It can be playing. There's a million different things you can do. I just want you to find three or four that sound interesting to you that you want to give a try. Okay. Number three, there was only one, two product requirements. The first was your ID nutrition. There's no getting around it. If you are not on the subscription for your custom nutrition, the entire 90 days, you're out. That is a huge part of this bridging the gap to allow your body to do what it can't do on its own because it's missing the, the ability to we're filling those gaps in to help you heal faster. That is a non-negotiable. Number two is the hydrate or electrolytes. You cannot 
you cannot function daily if your electrolytes are inadequate and the entire global population i don't know how many times we have to talk about this is not well hydrated and if you think water makes you hydrated you're wrong and you're suffering because you have the wrong idea of what hydration is and that's something that we discuss in every class um i will talk about the classes real fast um, and I'll talk about them again tomorrow when I talk about way of eating. If you're taking one of the classes, that's your way of eating. And you can do any one of my classes alongside this 90 day program. They go together. This program is going to talk about incorporating all of the lifestyle elements into what you learn in the nutrition classes. Okay. So I highly recommend doing them side by side. Um, so the hydrate is going to be at least, at least, at least one a day. And we'll talk a little bit more about this, but I want you to target a minimum of two a day. Two servings of electrolytes each day is really everyone's minimum. Um, reading. So this is your personal development. There's a long list of uh, books. I want you to just start by picking one and get it. Get it on Audible, get it on Kindle, get it as a paperback. I don't care what you do, go to the library and check it out for free. This isn't gonna cost you money. But I want you to read a nonfiction book that helps you improve who you are, whether it's nutrition, it's spiritual, it's business, it's um, networking, it's, it can be any number of things, but it needs to be nonfiction and it needs to not be the Bible. Not that I don't want you to read the Bible every day, but that doesn't count towards this. You should do that too, okay? So you need to have a nonfiction book that you are gonna start reading right away, at least 10 pages a day. I wanna tell you, because people think this is daunting, um, the last time I did this, so this is the third time I put myself through this program. Uh, we did it once as a test last summer. We did it again rolled it out for the team um and then now we're rolling it out kind of to get everybody on the same page about it but um so this is my third time doing it the very first time i did this in 90 days i finished two books a week and i am the first person to say i don't have extra time like i always wonder how i'm gonna fit things into my schedule my schedule is crazy bizarre packed all the time um but you would be shocked at what happens when you commit 15 minutes or 20 minutes a day and 20 minutes is what i actually did i did 20 minutes a day of reading um minimally and i actually did it before bed and not only did i wind down and relax and and it became part of my sleep hygiene which we're going to get to it also i was so proud of the fact that i had all these books stacked up that i had wanted to read and never found time for and i like killed them it was awesome so i'm actually that's one of the things i'm most excited about right now is because i got out of the habit of doing that every day and i can't wait to get back into that habit okay um, next is going to be self-care. So you are going to pick one thing a day that you do to take care of you. This whole process is about putting you first. And, and we will, we'll talk about that. I'm sure because it comes up a lot, but I have a whole list of things and I want you to go through them and choose a couple of things that you know you can do, but that you wouldn't necessarily do for yourself unless you had to. So don't make it so easy that it's something you already do, okay? I want you to go out of your way to care for and love yourself on a daily basis intentionally, okay? So not something that you can kind of gloss over. Um, I am gonna talk way more about this, but my commitment to myself is my brain tap. I am going to use my brain tap device um, every day. I'm actually gonna, my goal is twice a day, every day for 90 days. So, um, for 20 minutes each time, that's my person, my self care. Um, last time I did it, it was my sauna, 40 minutes in my sauna, 20 minutes in my sauna, um, a day I, I have a, uh, infrared, a far infrared sauna in my house. So that's easy to do. It could be manicure and pedicure and it can change. It doesn't have to be the same thing every day. I want you to pick a couple, but I want you to go out of your way to intentionally do something good that is just for you, nobody else. 
it has to be just about you okay um next uh there is a progress pick now you're not gonna put it on facebook you're not gonna send it to me it is just for you i want you to have my daughter uses this app called pick a day or something along those lines i'll have to ask her where she takes a photo every day and then it um, puts them in chronological order so she can see the progression of them. She did one for the summer. She does one that's all year long. So at the end of the year, she has 365 days of photos of her. Um, you can do something like that if you want. You can just take a selfie on your phone. But the goal is to have a daily picture of yourself because you don't necessarily notice little changes, right? Have you ever lost weight or gotten fit or changed your hair or, or done anything where it's been incremental changes and you don't notice them at all at all and suddenly you see someone who hasn't seen you in three months or six months or a year and they're like oh my god you look completely different or oh my god you look amazing you've lost weight you look younger whatever i don't care what it is you do not see the progress in you I promise you because I am so guilty of this you are never going to notice the progress you make yourself because you are looking at yourself through an old mirror so you could lose a hundred pounds and still look at yourself and see the old you and I've, I've had this conversation personally with many of you along over the years um, we don't see what other people see when they look at us. And so the pick a day is for you to actually see the progress at the end, okay? So every day you take a picture, I don't care, makeup list, hair a mess, it can be disgusting, it doesn't matter, but every day you take that picture without fail and don't skimp. A lot of this you're, gonna, you're going to realize is about the consistency of the effort. Not so much about the individual action, but about the consistency and intentionality of each action. There is a reason for everything. You don't skip anything and you do it every day because when you teach yourself that you can be consistent, you build your confidence, you build new habits, you change your lifestyle. All these good things happen with that consistency and intentionality. If you are haphazardly making it through your day, just kind of doing whatever you need to do to survive, that is not living. And that is what this program is about. It's about way more than losing weight. It's about way more and then just nutrition. This is about making every area of your life the absolute best that it can be forever, okay? So take it seriously. And all these people along for the ride with you are in it with you and they're all doing the same thing. So no action, none of these tiny little actions can be overlooked and none of them are unimportant, okay? Um, okay. Prior to bed each night, I want you to have a notepad or a, a notebook or something next to your bed. And prior to bed each night, you're going to write down 10, key number, 10 things you are grateful for that day. They can repeat, they can be something simple. I laughed about this uh, once in another video um, because I was doing this, pro this um, process with one of my teenagers who was going through a really hard time. We, we picked this up and started doing this at the beginning of COVID um, because it was really easy to lose sight of what was important. And I wanted my kids really focused on the fact that even though all these things that they were hearing were bad and negative and, and whatever, that there was always something good in their lives that they could cling to. And one day, it was such a crappy day for me. And uh, I wrote down that I was grateful for the F word. That's it. Like, it, it was just that kind of day. So, so it doesn't matter what it is. You have something. You have 10 things, as a matter of fact, at least, to be grateful for every single day. And you're going to write them down every night before you go to bed. And then the next morning when you wake up, you're going to read them back to yourself out loud. 
It's the very first thing you're gonna do when you wake up in the morning before you touch your phone, before you answer an email, before you look at a text, before you even your feet hit the ground. You are gonna pick that up and you are gonna read those to yourself so you remind yourself at night that there's something to be grateful for and you set the tone the, the next morning that you have a lot of things to be joyful about this is a lot about attitude about mindset about life about relationships your relationship with food your relationship with movement your relationship with people your relationship with yourself so this is going to break barriers that a diet would never do. I, I hope that you all really understand how important this is. And now that you're here, you aren't going anywhere. This is it. We're doing this and we're doing it together. And I really hope you are as excited as I am. Um, already talked about the ID nutrition. That's number eight. You're going to take your nutrition every day. You are going to check in weekly, um, at least you can check in daily in the Facebook group. That's what it's there for. But at least once a week, I really want you to reach out to the person on our team, whoever your bedrock nutrition team member is that you're working with on your assessments and stuff. That person is your mentor. They're there to answer your questions. So once a week, set up a time to text with them, to email with them, to call them to work through anything that you need to work through for that week that person is your one-on-one -on -one coach use them don't feel bad about it you're not wasting our time this is what their job is they're here for you but set up a schedule time so that you both know i'm going to text her at eight o'clock on friday morning and tell her how my week was. And if you don't text by 8.10, then that person's texting you and saying, hey, you're late, what's going on? Okay, that's what I want. Um, okay, um, obviously daily participation in the group, there's gonna be videos, there's gonna be posts. I do ask that um, there's not a lot of, ch of uh, and this is really of my team mostly, don't, we're not welcoming anybody. We're not thanking anybody. Every post is about the content, okay? Because I want you to easily find what's important and I want you to easily be able to get answers to your questions and I want you to easily be able to get the support that you need. So nothing idle, nothing that isn't relevant to the situation. So questions about food, questions about exercise, questions about how you feel, questions about symptoms, questions about fatigue, questions about the supplements, all great. Just know, hey, I'm so glad to be here, right? Um, I'd rather you thank your mentor, shoot me a message and thank me for, for the content, that's fine, and comment on the content. That's how I know you're reading it, it's how I know you're watching it, it's how I know if I need to address something else. So every time you watch a video or read a post, comment on it. Don't just sit in the shadows. I wanna hear from you all the time because that allows us to tailor the content to what you need as well, okay. Um, last thing is a sleep hygiene routine. This is going to get a video all its own in week one because it's so important. Um, it's probably going to get a document all its own because it is the one thing that we didn't do the first time around. And uh, as I was going through and putting all this stuff together, I thought a million times we need to put something specific together about sleep hygiene. So I am going to work on that and get that out this week. Um, but your sleep hygiene routine is something that is the same every day before you go to bed it could be you shower and you read so it can incorporate other things from the 90 days so there's gonna be a lot of overlap it's not like you have all these tasks you have to do and you have to make up time to do them a lot of these things get incorporated into one meditation prayer reading all of that stuff is stuff that's part of my nighttime routine so it all gets encompassed into one thing at the time of day I'm winding down and I'll talk more about what my routine is tomorrow so you guys can see for right now like I said uh, this is I'm wrapping this video up what I want you to do is go through and read the outline read the way of eating so that tomorrow we can talk about that because that's really going to be the next most important thing. Um, I want you to go through the movement selection guide and read what I wrote and start thinking and jotting down notes of things you can do to move your butt, whatever it is, whatever you like to do. And don't underestimate the power of walking. Um, when I do the exercise video, 
I'm going to show you because it's in the other room and I have to actually walk with the camera. Um, I'm going to show you my little secret to fast and intense workouts so I can work out for 10 minutes a day um, and incorporate that into my life very, very simply um, and get a whole lot of bang for my buck. Um, then I want you to look at the self-care checklist and I want you to highlight, there is literally, gosh, I can't even tell you how many things. Um, we gave you a bunch of resources. We talk about self-care and then we gave you all of these ideas for self-care and a bunch of links to even more. So there's hundreds and hundreds of ideas. Go through and highlight a couple, jot them down in your notes. What are some things you would like to do for you over the next 90 days? You don't have to do them all at once. You don't have to do them all every day, but give yourself some variety. Um, then you have the personal development challenge and there are one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different topics. Um, I've broken a, a list of recommended reading from me uh, down to these eight topics. So there's health, wellness, and nutrition, personal development, business, spiritual trauma recovery. Oh, there's only six. I'm sorry. This was a duplicate page. <laughs> uh, so there's six. Um, and these are books that either I have read or that someone on our team has read that have come highly recommended um, from one of the, uh, either myself or someone, um, one of our team leaders. And so these, a lot of thought has gone into that. Now, if there's other books you wanna read or there's something you're already reading, that's fine. We just gave you a place to start. So pick a book and have your book ready tomorrow, okay? The other thing I want you to do is take your before measurements. So um, you'll see on this, it gives you all the measurements to take right and then a place at the top for the date height weight whatever um you are only going to weigh and measure yourself once a month so you're going to weigh and measure yourself today and then in 30 days and then in 60 days and then in 90 days you will not i repeat you will not weigh or measure yourself in between those 30 days if that's too hard for you to do i want you to find someone and give them your scale and then get it back on those days. Do not weigh yourself in between. If you've taken my classes, you know how I feel about this. Your weight fluctuates six to seven pounds a day based on water retention, inflammation. There's so many other things. I only want you to weigh yourself four times total over the next 13 weeks. And I mean it. Okay. Um, then starting tonight, start with today and go down and start checking the boxes of what you've done, right? One thing I want to say before I wrap things up is progress, not perfection, right? You're, you're learning this week. You're getting into the routine this week. So check as many boxes as you can this week. Start forming good habits and be intentional about it. But don't beat yourself up if you miss a box, right? And remember that the only person you're competing with is you. And every day I want you to ask yourself, did I do better today than I was yesterday? And if the answer to that question is yes, then pat yourself on the back and do hard, do better and work harder the next day. And each and every day, that's your goal. Work better and harder each day to be a better ver version of yourself than you were the day before, okay? That is long enough for this intro video. I look forward to the next 13 weeks sharing my time with you. Um, and a lot of the team is gonna get on here and share some of their tips and their tricks and their experiences as well. So you're not just gonna be bored hearing from me for the next three months. I look forward to hearing, uh, to talking to you guys again tomorrow because I am going to cover food tomorrow. It's really, really an important video and I can't wait.